Well, two weeks ago, Minsure, Minnesota's health insurance exchange program, opened to the public with a host of issues. Many weren't able to create an account, let alone buy insurance. KEYC News 12's Ryan Gustafson gives it another try. When we left off on October 1st, I was unable to create an account with Minsure. They weren't able to identify me. That problem's now fixed, and I have created an account. But some challenges still remain ahead. When creating a username, they asked for something called a shared secret. I have no idea what it is and couldn't find anything to explain it, so I treated it like yet another password and filled in a four-letter word of my choice. They also asked for security questions. These were quite vague, including what city I'd like to retire to. Just make sure to write down which answers you select for each of these fields. And success, I'm in. Time to start shopping for health insurance. Sign in, go to my account and check costs. You'll have to repeat a lot of the identification steps. This is how they're going to figure out who you are and how much you'll cost to insure. After selecting certain things I want, like a gym membership discount, I'm now presented with the plans they offer. A couple of things are missing here though. The quality rating, it's coming soon. But a much bigger deal is the fact that I can't find out what hospitals, clinics, and doctors are covered by which plan. The search function doesn't work, and that's not good. You shouldn't buy it because there's substantial penalties uh, for uh, as far as your co-pays and your deductibles and things that are covered and not covered. Anyway, I'm looking at insurance with Minsure costing me $148 a month for premiums with a $6,300 deductible. That's the amount I'll have to pay before the insurance kicks in. The higher the deductible, the lower the premiums and vice versa. So I went to a local insurer to find out how much it would cost to cover myself under the old system. So $122 a month is what you're looking at. $122 with a $7,500 deductible. Understandable, since Mincher covers additional things like mental health. But the kicker is that Mincher was a bronze plan. It covers only 60% of the cost after the deductible. The health partner's plan Miller found for me is essentially a gold plan. It covers 80%. So I'll wait until more info is available on the site, and as Governor Dayton points out, Compared with other states and the federal government, it's doing phenomenally well. In Mankato, Ryan Gustafson, KEYC News 12.